Hello everyone, welcome back to Celasta, Crown of the Magister. Last time, I forget exactly what we did. I know that we had back-to-back -back replayed fights with a dragon that we eventually overcame. And then I guess we were probably just back in town to sell stuff and do all that regular kind of admin. And now, while we do have some side quests that we could go and do, I don't feel any great need to do them for the rewards that are being offered. And so, I think we're just going to carry on back to the Manakalan Ruin, where our adventure began. I don't know what awaits us there, but we can only find out by going. So, let's try and navigate this town that I still don't feel like I have a complete grasp of. Uh, I think what we're looking for is these guys. Because I don't think there is a direct teleportation route to the Malakanon Ruin. So it's going to be a bit of a road trip, I think. Here we have the world map. The game drew our attention to the Hickory Corner Wood. I presume this is one of our quests for side quest things. But we're just going to jump right over to the Malakanon Ruin. It's going to be four or five days? Yeah, four days. We've got 29 units of food. Pastel can always make more with her spells if we really need her to. I don't know if we want to change our spells up, but I'll check on our first long rest what we've currently got equipped. Let's see. Uh, start with Gothic. So we're not going to use the large Conjure Elemental anymore. We'll stick with the small Conjure Elemental. Cone of Cold and Mind Twist I think are fine. Great Invisibility is good in a pinch. We've got Fireball as ever. Blies and Black Tentacles. This is looking fine to me. Maybe we will find some way... Let's drop Sleep because we never really use it against these giant creatures. We'll take Knock instead just in case we find something locked that Faith can't get through. Although I suspect she can at her current level and stats. Kite, we've got Fireball, Oath Prepared as always, Revivify, Daylight are all good. Don't think we need Protect from Poison particularly, so I'm happy with that. And Pastel. Insect Plague, I've used once or twice before, but not to seemingly amazing effect. Um, but is there anything else here that I'd rather have? Raise Dead is actually not for creating zombies, but for actually bringing our heroes back to life. Massacre Wounds might not be the worst thing to have, especially in these big fights. What's the range on that? Heals up to six creatures, range 12, 3d8 plus ability. Let's see if we can make some room for that somewhere. I don't think we're using Remove Curse at all, are we? Otherwise, we've got our emergency, healing words, and cure wounds. Prayer of healing as well. We've got a lot of healing and not that much in the way of damage. But between Guiding Bolt, uh, where is it? Inflict wounds for the domain, Spirit Guardians, Flame Strike, Banishment, Black Tentacles. I think we're pretty well covered. So we'll close that, resume our journey. I'm not sure how much of the game is left at this point. I struggle to remember exactly how many stones we've collected for our headband. Waltz on by KLM, which seems like a long time ago since we were dealing with plots over there. I also wonder how many other places on this map exist that we've not been to yet. And how many of them might be kind of low-level things that we missed for side quests or high-level places that we'll be eventually visiting. There goes another siren. Did you hear it? I'm sure you probably did. Alright, and here we are at the Malakanon Ruin. Great big open space out front, but of course there's the chamber past the library where things get really funky. So we'll be on our guard, we'll be 
keeping an eye on our six and all the rest. We'll see what happens coming in here. I think this is what the crown shown me. So not one of the gems. Obviously. Do you feel anything else? I'm afraid not. That's a problem. Let's go back to the council. We have to tell them. Uh, what? So, we came here. There's nothing for us here, and we're going to return? It seems your quest cannot be completed. You cannot lie to the council about it. Return to Ker Keflin and report the situation. Beware, after this you will be unable to complete optional quests. Make sure you have finished all your tasks and are ready for the game's final chapter. It's like it read my mind. Alright, well. As I said, we could do all of this stuff. But I think we'll save it for... Maybe my next time through when we're doing it on... Um, Iron Man mode and we need to do some smaller stuff to pick ourselves up through the levels because I imagine things will be harder on Iron Man mode and we want to find these kind of level 8 side quests at more time appropriate periods of time. Sentences are difficult. We've still not seen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 unknown creatures here in the bestiary. And let's just take a little example. We know four out of four things about a skeletal enforcer. So what do we know? AC, HP, movement speed, strength and stats, immunities, vulnerabilities, saving throws, senses, languages, and what attacks they can do. Very interesting. I should definitely use this information more for checking things like resistances and stuff. Because if the game is going to give us that tool that our heroes probably effectively have, if they're keeping a journal as it were, then maybe I should be using it more to my advantage. So after that walk, I assume we're going to do the whole thing in reverse immediately. I give it like a 30% chance that some terrible thing has happened at Ker Keflin now that they've gotten us out of Ker Keflin. Let's go... Uh, let's go normal speed and I'll just jump cut through. Alright, see you in one moment. Alright, there's our last night's sleep. I did think it was interesting that down here you can see that weak monsters ran away as they see the party approaching. It's a nice development that not every random creature is going to see us and try and pick a fight with us as we've now gained so much experience. And we have returned. So, we are simply coming up here to the Legacy Council. Nothing to interrupt us on our way. Oh, travel interrupted. I spoke too soon. But yes, the council. Three gems missing? Perhaps they've been destroyed. We tested the first one. It can't be done. They must be magically concealed. So the crown must remain incomplete? Maybe the Sorax have the missing gems. After all, they attacked you more than once. They're clearly still after the crown. If you can't find the gems, why keep the crown out there? It'll just keep attracting the Sorax. The attunement, remember? I'm sorry, senior deputies, but despite the attunement, I believe the crown should be secured. And secured by more than four adventurers who spend their nights camped in the Badlands. We can't do that to them. They have served the council faithfully. Don't be naive. We are facing a major threat. You understand the meaning of sacrifice, and so should they. We've searched the Badlands for these gems, at our own risk. We trusted you to keep your word and leave us the crown. If I may, I think we need more time to consider the situation. More time? How much time? Maybe just give it a night. 
I could use the day to consult with my people. So could I. Fine, then. Anyone against? Thank you, Lord Danantar. The Legacy Council is now adjourned. What happened to the princess? She normally has a say in such matters. We failed some quests. We failed some I quests. Have a bad feeling about this. I knew it. I'll take the crown and never mind what that does to me. This is wrong. We could run. What's the point? We know what's at stake. They're right about one thing. The Sorax will keep coming after us. After the crown. We could retrace our steps. Go back to where we found the gems. Perhaps there's a trail we overlooked. There's nothing anymore. I can't feel another gem anywhere. Excuse me, senior deputies. Clear skies, Hedlum. I would advise you to avoid the palace residence tonight. What? Why? I'm not at liberty to say. Just trust me. You have your lodgings at the Gravekeep's cask. You should spend the night there. What kind of advice is that? Are you really working for the Arcanium? Why else would I be here? Strange. This elf is... What do you think? It sounds like a warning. Or a threat. Can we trust him? Trust the new empire. I have no idea what to do, but I'd like to sleep in a bed tonight. I miss Carol's beer. And Merton's sweet talk. I prefer the residence. I like Captain Ironshell kissing me goodnight. Maybe in your dreams. Well, Faith did the fast travel, so everyone else is still... Oh, there we go. There's everyone caught up together, so we need to take a long rest. I don't know what this question mark... Oh, that's the, um... That's the way to get to our... Digs. Which we were told we may not want to use. Question is, was that person we just spoke to trying to keep us away from danger? Or exactly where he wanted us to be? I'm gonna go with the pub. Just because pubs are nice. I like a good tavern. We've been told that our um, side quests have been failed for us, so we no longer have any option of doing those. So there's nothing else to do unless you just want to hone any of our equipment. And that stuff can certainly be sold for two gold pieces. We could go and just spend everything that we have on potions and the like, but... I'm feeling optimistic. Hello again. I hear you're the terror of the Badlands. We're getting by. Did you hear about a lost god? <laughs> sure. If you're ready to die. We're not green anymore, Merton. Fine. But the lost god? That is the stuff of legend. I've met a lot of people who wanted to find that temple. At first, I tried to help. No one ever came back. So I decided to stop talking about it. I felt... well... Responsible for their deaths. Responsible? No, they paid for their folly. I just got tired of repeating the same warning over and over. Are we bothering you? You're always bothering me. Let's go. Oh, don't be so sensitive. All right. The temple is real. I've seen it. You have? It was about 15 years ago. But yes, I did. And you didn't raid it? Well, ten of us found the place. When I was the only one left, I came home. The other nine died. Slaughtered. All of them. Still interested? You think we're not strong enough? I don't know. You're the mighty Sorak killers, after all. 
maybe with me, you'd have a chance. You'd come with us? I wouldn't let anyone raid that temple without me. You'd never find it for a start. Are you after the treasure? Who says there's a treasure? There's a monster. I, I know that. What is it? That? I don't know. I just want to be there first. I want that on my tombstone. Fair enough. It's a long trip. If you're crazy enough to go, give me some time to pack my gear. Sure. Arwen Merton. Lived, died, came first. To the behest of his lovers. Um, right. So, Merton's going to have some prep time and come with us to show what's going on. The council will reconvene tomorrow to have the decision, wait until the next day to report. So we can't just go off with Merton. We need to do the long rest first. So let's do that. Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? A bed for the night, please. We'd like to stay for the night. Can you imagine if you didn't have the ten gold to do it? You'd be in for a bad time. Right. We just went over our spells. We don't need to go over any attunements, I think. Let me just see here. Extra AC. Plus one to all saving throws and AC. Strength set to 19. I'm wondering if we would like a gem of seeing attuned instead. Because while Pastel can benefit from Gauntlets of Ogre Power, she doesn't really need it. And if there's going to be Sorax or other things that might be invisible, True Sight could be very valuable. So I'm going to do that. Ah, uh, is this going to... Right, well, we've done that for now. My hesitation was that it might screw up our spell casting because we need to equip it somewhere. So we need to get Pastel a belt or braces of spell components before we go back to the council. Hopefully the market's still open. Yes. So let's do that, otherwise we're going to have issues... Senior deputies. Captain, what's the news? You didn't hear. Your quarters at the residence were ransacked. What? When? During the night. It's lucky you weren't there. Huh? We could have handled a burglar or two. They were more than simple burglars to infiltrate the palace undetected. Who then? I can't say for sure, but some are saying saw a cath. We were supposed to be safe there, remember? I'm well aware. We have put further magical security measures in place. Thank you for keeping us informed, Captain. You are most welcome. Good day to you, senior deputies. So he told the truth, that headlong. He knew. But how? He's a spy or something similar. He looks normal to me. That's what spies do. We must decide on our next move. Back to the council, I suppose, and see what they decided. Or we could pay sure spell a visit. Okay, we have options. Objective failed, the missing piece, no way back. I thought we didn't have any extra quests. Not sure. In any case, our very first thing, there's sure spell up there, but the very first thing I want to do is make sure that Pastel has her full spell casting abilities regardless of what is equipped. So Hugo is our person for the job. I'm really interested to see what the encounter might have been if we were caught asleep, because I'm always interested by things like encounters in camp where a paladin wouldn't be in full plate because it takes 10 minutes to put full plate on with the assistance of another person. And just how that would have all shaken out. But for now, we're looking for component pouches. 
belt component pouch will probably suffice. So let's pick one of those up. Give it to... Oh, let's get out of here. Inventory for faith. Give that to Pastel, wherever it is. And then Pastel can equip that. And now she should have her full spell casting, even when she's attuned to everything else. Yep, that's very good. That's what we want to see. All right, well, let's go and see our new savior first and see what secrets they might be holding. In fact, we will do that next time. So join me then. We'll see what Hedlund has else to say about this matter. Otherwise, thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.